Your latest news update from Western Mass News. A second day of threats impacting schools here in Western Mass and across the state following a string of hoax threats made yesterday. Today, police responding to threats called into Chicopee High School and Springfield High School. Both schools taking safety measures while police investigated. State police also investigating similar threats made to several schools across the state. All were determined to be hoaxes. And police executed a search warrant for an illegal cannabis growing operation today in South Hadley. It all began around 6 a.m. at a house at 100 Abbey Street for what police say is an, quote, unlawful cultivation of cannabis. The search drew a large police presence, including officers and detectives from East Hampton and Phillipston in Worcester County. South Hadley Fire also there on scene. No word on arrests, but police say there is no threat to the community. And the Biden White House has started a government-wide effort focused on the flying objects that were flying above and shot down by the U.S. military. At least four unidentified airborne crafts were neutralized in just over a week. That includes the remains of a Chinese spy balloon that fell into the waters off the coast of South Carolina. A full Senate classified briefing on China is scheduled for Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown to check of your forecast. We'll get chilly quickly tonight with clear skies to start this evening. Temperatures may briefly dip into the 20s and then they could slowly start rising again through sunrise as cloud cover builds in and wind starts to increase out of the south. We'll have a blustery Wednesday on the way with early cloud cover giving way to partly cloudy skies for the afternoon. Another unseasonably mild day, potentially record breaking as highs approach mid 50s. We'll have some gusts out of the south, potentially approaching 20 to 30 miles an hour. Now, we're tracking a strong storm system across the country's midsection that's going to be making its way to the east coast by the end of the week. Now, it looks like shower chances for us will start to increase Thursday afternoon, and then we'll have a period of some heavier rain possible Friday morning as our cold front comes through. Can't even rule out a rumble or two of thunder, and we'll have some strong wind gusts first out of the southwest and then out of the northwest behind that system. Once wind shifts direction, it will start pulling in cooler air. So Friday, we'll hit our high around 60 in the morning, and temperatures fall to the 30s by the afternoon and stay there to start the weekend. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.